there was a good way to use genomics to find a good use for all these strawberries. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? DNA instructions! <laughs> Luckily, you only need household items to do that. Otherwise, it would take us forever to set up. But let's get going. Okay, well, it's super convenient you had a craving for strawberries because they're really easy to extract DNA from. We'll be experts in strawberry and DNA. Do you know how many copies of the genome that each strawberry cell has? No, how many? Eight. Eight? Eight. Four times more per cell than humans. So purifying DNA from a strawberry is really easy because it has so much DNA in it. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Awesome. It's sure awesome. No time to waste. Let's, let's do, do some, some science. science. So let's just make sure we have all the materials we need. Yeah, no, it's always good to get organized. Agreed. So first, uh, one resealable plastic bag. So I um, tend to use the small ones. You can use the big ones, but small ones work really well. You're the expert, so I would listen to that. Okay. Uh, two strawberries. Two strawberries. One, very important. Two. And if I remember right, it's actually very good to take off the green stems and get rid of those. Correct. Okay. I think you can use fresh or frozen. Um, mm -hmm. Two teaspoons of dish detergent. So we have the dish detergent, put that aside. Okay. And we have a teaspoon for measuring it. Perfect. All right, one teaspoon of salt. So here's a teaspoon for measuring and okay. here is the salt. Great. Okay, a half cup of water. So here we have in a measuring cup, very full, half a cup of water. I'll just set that here. Perfect. Okay, uh, two plastic cups. Got, Got those. those right here. Okay. Uh, one coffee filter. Coffee filter. We actually have an extra, but yes, I have a coffee filter. You never know. So yep. Might need to. Half cup of rubbing alcohol. We've got that right here. Yep. You gotta be careful with that. One coffee stirrer. And I got two, just in case we need an extra. Wonderful. There you go. And it's probably most importantly, uh, one scientist, or in our uh, case, two scientists. Two. Right. Yes. Okay, so you take the strawberries, and what you have to do is to basically break up the strawberries first because then in the next step we're going to break open the cells that are in the strawberry to release the dna but to sort of help that process along you really gotta unfortunately be a little mean to your strawberries so you put them in the plastic bag and you seal up the plastic bag and then you're going to gently just want to start smashing those strawberries and as best you can. Now, there's lots of techniques that can be used for this. Um, you don't want to get too um, uh, violent, because if you do, you could spray strawberries all over your kitchen table or all over yourself. But at the same time, you have to really work it good as much to get sort of a strawberry puree. We just keep getting this to the point that all the big pieces are broken up. And in doing so, you will then have it to the point where you could then go to the next step where you're going to break open the individual cells in strawberries and let the DNA come floating into solution. Here's the thing. In this bag are smashed up strawberries with a bunch of individual cells in them. And maybe one way to think about it is, is like a water balloon, and that's the cell. And what we need to do is to break open that water balloon um, so that the DNA will come floating out. Now, like a water balloon, like you might use a nail to pop it, but for this, what you do when it, you're dealing with a cell is you use a detergent, like, like detergent you use for like cleaning your dishes. Like this one here. So, so we're gonna make a solution that's gonna both have detergent in it, but it's also gonna have um, other things like salt and water that make the DNA happy and comfortable floating around inside of it. So that's cool. why we have to make this, what we call an extraction liquid, okay? Little concoction, yep. sounds so, great. So I think you start, you add two teaspoons of the detergent. Okay, sounds great. You want some? No, no, I already had breakfast. Okay, okay. just wanted to check, looks good though. Okay, two of those. One yeah. teaspoon of salt. Yeah, maybe you can use a, a different yes. teaspoon. Yes, good thing I have two. Yeah. All right. Perfect. And then remember we had that 
half a cup of water. Yes. That was poured to the very top. Meet you halfway. That's right. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then I'll just pour it in using my skills as a scientist. And there you go. And now just just shake it up a little. A little shake. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And what all you're really wanting to make sure to do is to make sure the salt gets into solution and that detergent sort of gets evenly dispersed throughout. Okay. Okay, so that's our extraction liquid. Cool. So now we're basically gonna use that detergent, like a little pin to pop the water balloons, use the detergent to break open those strawberry cells. Okay, I'll open this up. Let's you can do just it. pour it in. Okay. And there we have it. And so now you seal it. Now here you can't smash. You don't even want to smash because of course, if you really start smashing, you might, then you really spew out the liquid um, and that would cause problems. And, and actually the other thing is you don't want to be too, um, too tough with this because otherwise you get a lot of bubbles, but you just want to sort of work this around just like uh, you're making a smoothie by hand. And so, but here's the thing, is that while all the DNA is now collecting in the liquid, if you look in there, you have a lot of other stuff that's in the way. Now, scientifically, we might refer to that as cellular debris, but it, you know, it's, it's just the, you know, strawberry schmutz. <laughs> and and you, you gotta get rid of that strawberry schmutz, and so that's why we use a coffee filter. It's now time to get rid of this schmutz and get the liquid that'll contain the strawberry DNA. So maybe you can hold that for me. Absolutely. We're gonna use this as a filter. Now, you can use a coffee filter. Sometimes you could use gauze if you happen to have some gauze in your house. You just do whatever it takes to filter out all that schmutzy stuff that was in the strawberry and just let things slowly leak through, seep through like you're making drip coffee. So when most of the liquid has filtered through, what's good is to just remove that filter that contains all that strawberry schmutz and we can just put it on the side. We don't need that anymore. All right. So this is basically the extraction liquid, which has the insides of all the cells of those strawberries and including the DNA. And in order to get the DNA to come out of solution, we do a scientific step, which is called precipitation, oh. which is basically a way of getting um, a compound or a molecule to sort of come out from being in a liquid state to being in a solid state. To do that, we use this rubbing alcohol. All right. Which you often want to have it be a little bit cold. And I know this was in the, in the refrigerator and that's good. And you just want to add an equal amount. So what I always do is I just sort of estimate where my finger is and sort of the equal amount. And you can just pour the alcohol up until that amount. Okay. And a little more, and then that's good, okay. like that. And then what you want to do is not be overly harsh with this, but you can sort of see there's almost like a layer. The alcohol is a bit on top, the extraction liquid's on the bottom. And you just sort of roughly, sort of gently swirl it around. And then what you start to see forming sort of between those two layers is like a flocculent-like material sort of almost looks like cotton. Yeah. And as you swirl more and more and it gets more and more mixed, you'll see more of it forming. And that flocculent material is the DNA. That's awesome. But you know, it's, it's very whitish and it's sort of very viscous. And what does it really look like in real life? It kind of looks like snot. It does look like snot. And so, and when you start to see big things of snot, um, then you know it's really working well. And you can even see here, as we've done this, you can really start to see some, some of this precipitated DNA forming. Wow, look at that. And we can get more in a bit, but what you can do is when you start to see it, that's where the coffee stirrer comes in. You can just sort of fish that out. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. That is strawberry DNA, which again, to our eye, looks like a bunch of snot, this is a big but one. in fact, if we could look at a molecular level, it would just consist of that classical double helix, that sort of the iconic view of DNA. Um, but but this is straw purified strawberry DNA. Um, there's probably even more that you could get, and you could, if you want to, keep swirling. But you can see you've gotten a tremendous amount there, which yeah. is which is great. And just imagine, you did all of this 
using materials that you have in your kitchen. So you can do science in your kitchen and, 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 and do something as, as wonderful as isolate DNA from a strawberry. That is really cool. DNA instructions! <laughs>